Hey, what is going on guys? It's Pirate, and I'm finally back with another Prodigy video after like two months. Sorry I haven't been uploading lately, it's just that I've been taking a little break. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get easy questions, like first grade questions, or how to trade your grade level in Prodigy. Because like for me, I used to get like 8th grade level questions in Prodigy, it's so annoying how like I have to like do all this work or whatever, but when in reality you can just easily change your questions to first grade or whatever grade you want. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys here today. Also by the way, before we get to it, a huge shout out to my friend Kiwi, he edited this video and he also gave me the video idea for this. So what you guys want to do first is you guys want to head over to the website ProdigyGame.com. Now what you guys want to do is you want to see this login button next to play prodigy you guys want to click that login button what we are going to do is create a new account so we're going to click sign up now we're not creating a new prodigy account we are creating a teacher account and from the teacher account we will be able to change your grade level so let's select teacher let's type our full name let's not do our real name of course you guys don't want to give your real name out to the internet let's just say prodigy rules our email whatever email you want it has to be a real email just in case you have to confirm i created a separate email for this video you could just do that and then of course your password let me just write that down even if you're creating it with a google account don't click sign up with the google now once you have done that don't do this unless you want to actually receive emails then create account and Boom, you're gonna be taken to this page. Follow all the instructions. Uh, don't have a school. I don't wanna share this information. You don't wanna give them actual information about yourself because that can be a little bit dangerous. Hello is my class name. Let's do first grade. We're gonna set our class to first grade. Or you can do whatever grade you want. Okay, now you guys wanna go over here to students. You guys wanna click students. And as you can see right here, it says class code. And my class code is this right here by the way guys don't join this class code now what you guys want to do is copy this class code go into prodigy log out of prodigy then log back into prodigy once you guys log back into prodigy you guys will see this part where it says new teacher then click update then paste your class code click next and you should be in the class so now when we go back to this tab we refresh the page my name should be in the class yes when i go into prodigy and do some questions there should be first grade questions now a common error is that you are also in your teacher's class, and your teacher has like eighth grade, what, set to her class. So you're like in two classrooms. One is in first grade, one is in eighth grade. So that can be a problem. And the other problem is that if your teacher assigns you some stuff for your class, and you have to do those problems. Now to fix this problem, what you guys need to do is click on plan align them to a standard. Now what you guys want to do is change whatever grade you want and just select some standards. Oh, we only can do one. There we go. Oh, I got to write a name. All right, and then we click next. Then we click the starting date of the assignment, then end. And now this is basically like an assignment of whatever that concept I just chose. So now when I go into Prodigy, I should be able to get that assignment that I just assigned to myself. Unless your teacher has assigned another skill to you. But yeah, that's it. That's how you guys get first grade questions or maybe change your grade level for your questions on Prodigy. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I'm out.